Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to create a program that calculates the cost of a tile floor. Uh, this program is going to require some user input such as the length and width of the floor as well as the price of the material that's being used to create the new floor. Uh, and this is actually a, a, a problem that I saw on uh, Karan Goel's uh, GitHub profile and it's in his projects uh, repository here. And this is his GitHub profile. I recommend you check it out at github.com slash Quran. Uh, lots of good stuff on here. So let's get into the code here. And this is what the, the code is going to actually do. So it's going to ask the user to enter in the cost per square foot of the flooring. Uh, so let's say it costs $5.60 per square foot. And it's gonna, then going to ask for the length of the floor. Uh, so we'll say 10. And it's going to ask for the width of the floor. Uh, and we'll say, for example, uh, 8 feet. And what it's going to do is uh, print out a string here that has uh, that says for a floor with a length of 10 feet and a width of 8 feet at a price of 560 uh, per foot, it would cost uh, a total of $448. So this is the code that I wrote for this. We're going to actually go ahead and jump to a clean class here, and we'll start writing this code. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do for this is import the scanner class so that we can get user input uh, in order to calculate how much the floor is going to cost. So in order to do that, we're just going to say import java.util.scanner and this is just going to import the scanner class and what we're going to want to do now is create some variables um, so that we can hold the values for the length, width, etc. for the floor. So we're going to create some double variables uh, because I'm sure in construction all these values aren't always going to be integers uh, they're going to have you know half, half inch values, stuff like that. So we're going to say double length, width and we're going to create also a variable for the price of the floor price and then we're going to create a variable for the total cost of the floor. And I'm just going to call that cost. So we have our length of the floor, width of the floor, price per, per square foot, or however you want to measure the floor, uh, as well as the cost for the whole project uh, in total. So now let's go ahead and instantiate an object of the scanner class so that we can get user input to uh, fill in these variables here. So in order to do that, we're going to say scanner, and we'll call the uh, object input equals new scanner. And we're going to do this on system.in. Um, so the next thing we want to do here is scan for these uh, these values here. So um, we're going to go ahead and prompt the user. So we're going to say system.out.println, and we'll say please enter the floor's length. And we'll go ahead and terminate that there. And then what we're going to do is use a, uh, a, the object of scanner class called input, and we'll say uh, set that length variable that we created. So length equals uh, input dot next double, and again we're using doubles because we're not sure exactly how how um, how long or wide the floor is. Uh, it could be, for example, 5.6 feet, 5.7 feet, something like that. Uh, so we want to be able to account for that and not lose precision. So that's why we created all of these as doubles, and this is why this is being used. Uh, why the next double method of the scanner class is being used. So the next thing we're going to want to do is prompt the user to enter the width. So we'll say system.out.println, and we'll say please enter the floor's width. And then again, we're just going to uh, set the width variable here to the uh, next scanned in double, so input.next double. And then again, we're just going to ask them for the price per square foot uh, of the floor. So we'll say uh, system.out.println, Please enter the price per square foot. And what we'll do is now uh, use the price variable, set that equal to uh, the next uh, double that's put in, so input.next double. And then finally, we're going to do is actually calculate the total cost of the floor. Uh, most of this is just pretty easy stuff. We're just setting variables equal to um, whatever the user types in. And uh, I would strongly recommend you comment uh, some of the stuff just to make sure everything is understood. This is pretty easy, but in a more advanced problem, you're going to want to comment stuff. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to do now is calculate the costs. We'll say calc cost of floor project. And in order to calculate the cost, we're just going to use some simple geometry. Um, so the, the total size of the floor is going to be the length of the floor times the width of the floor. And then in order to find out the price, we're just going to multiply this total size by the price per, per square foot of floor. So um, we're going to say cost, which is the total cost, equals length times width times height. 
And uh, again, cost is a double value so that we don't lose any precision when we're multiplying these. Um, oop, not height, sorry. Uh, length time width time price. And uh, what we're going to do is then type in, uh, print out the value, the, the price of the floor. Uh, so we'll say system dot line, and we can say something like the price of the new floor will be, and then what we're going to do is concatenate on the value uh, of the cost. So we'll be cost. And so let's go ahead now and um, print this out. All right, so here's our program here. It's running now. So please enter the floor's length. We'll say 12.3. Please enter the floor's width. Uh, we'll say uh, 8.5. And the price per square foot, we'll say, uh, let's say, $4.35. And it says here that the price of the new floor will be $454.79. Uh, you, can, you can change your code to cause this to truncate if you want, so you can only have two values. Um, but this is pretty much it. This is how you can go about doing it. If you want, uh, you can go ahead and add in a dollar sign here to make it a little bit more, a um, little bit more official. And we can also uh, add in a period here just to make things look a little bit nicer. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this one more time. So enter the floor's length. We'll say 10 feet. Uh, enter the floor's width. We'll say 10 feet. And the price per square foot. We'll say five feet. So 10 times 10 is 100 times five should be 500. Uh, and I mean five dollars, not five feet. And uh, the, new, the price of the new floor will be $500. Uh, so please feel free to play around with this, to maybe change it around a little bit. Uh, and also feel free to check out uh, Karan Goel's uh, practice problems on his GitHub page. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.